I, I'm probably going to cry because I would have been crying. My name is Llewellyn Phillips Whitford. I live at 4985 Magnolia Avenue in Mobile, Florida, Polk County. I'm at 3.7 miles from the Moose Exit Club. And when you hear the water's not contaminated, it's not this, it is. It is contaminated. The air, the land, the water, everything's contaminated. While we have pine trees and cows and phosphate hills, I call them phosphate hills. My daughter took a bath three weeks before the sinkhole was announced. My eight-year-old daughter called me in the bathroom to show me the water that was in the bathtub and it was brown with big chunks of clay in it. I didn't know the sinkhole had happened. Three weeks later, I found out that by then my water had contaminants and sediments and radioactivity and my whole family has died from cancer. I'm raising somebody's three children now. The youngest is nine, seven, and five. My five-year-old wakes up four nights a week at least, if not more, from screaming because her bones ache because they're so weak. And when you try to get attention from the EPA or DEP or your state reps or all these people who don't really, don't really, care. I'm not going to say care because some do care, but the point is, is you guys don't have laws that regulate one thing or you, the other. You have EPA that says one thing is dangerous and health department says this is very dangerous and EPA says no, it's not dangerous enough. And so I did my own little survey. I'm not going to read too much of it, but I do want, I want you people to know these surveys out of 25 families, 25 people took these surveys, and it's just a little short thing I have on my on my Facebook page called Getting the Word Out. And um, for instance, one of the questions is, how far are you from a phosphate mining company? And out of 23 responses, the most they were, the furthest way they were was five miles, a little less than five miles, mostly four miles on the average. Okay, the next question is, how close do you live to gyp stacks? I'm surrounded by gyp stacks. I've got a Hooper's Prairie New Wells mine, and they're getting huge. They're getting so big because they're bringing it in from Manatee County. They're dumping their crap on us because Polk County is a waste, a waste county that nobody cares about anymore because we've had phosphate mining for over 100 years. So you can see I'm kind of emotional. I try not to do this, but my kids bring radioactive dust every day. The furthest gyp stack from my house is in our county seat of Bartow. It's 12 miles from my house and I can see it like it's next door to me. I have gyp stacks on all four sides of me. The wind can't blow unless I breathe in it. My wildlife, they're coming out of, out of the woodwork and they're dying in the streets. I want to continue this for a second, if you don't mind, because I came a long ways. I want to hear what she has to say. Those people who live within four mile radius of the gyp stacks and the mines, 10 out of 23 families don't work at a phosphate company and they don't work at any company related to a phosphate company. Do you or anyone in your, of your household members, now granted I did this because we can't count on the EPA to do a survey for us that we can trust, so I wanted my neighbors to fill it out. Do you or anyone in your household members have any of the following health problems? There are 23 responses. 10 of those, 10 of those people with 23 out of 23 responses have cancer. 13 out of 23 have high blood pressure. We also have kidney-related diseases, liver-related thyroid issues, asthmatic issues, COPD, diabetes, influenza, miscarriages, fibromyalgia, heart problems. The mm -hmm. biggest, the biggest one is high blood pressure. Now that's for the adults. But granted, I got into this and being nosy about phosphate because of my kids, because I've lived there all my whole life. Do any of the, your children have these issues? Out of 14 responses, ADHD, seven children out of 14. Short attention span, 7.1%. Weak bones, four out of 14. Weaker yellowing teeth, eight of, out of 14. Slow learning disabilities, five out of 14. Cancer. Two children out of 14 families has cancer. Two out of 14. And that's cancer when they're young. They're not even grown yet. They have slow physical growth, 
uh, slow disabilities, and the list goes on because phosphate causes a lot of damage. Radon, if you will, doesn't necessarily keep a shelf life in water. It um, turns into gas as soon as the air hits it, but it stays in your attics and it stays under your home. And my family's been in the, that neighborhood since they moved from here in 1925. My grandparents were married here. All of my families are Latchier County and Union County and Bradford County. They moved to Mulberry and became phosphate miners. My grandfather was a retired chain engineer for CSX. Agricola Pierce Mine was less than 300 yards from my front yard my whole life. couple more and I'll be done. When it comes to your animals, health issues for animals are tumors, labored breathing, hair, teeth loss, same thing. I've had clumps in my hair fall out in the sink. Oh, I have clumps of it. My mother's hand has turned blue, diarrhea, nausea. It's not necessarily contamination from the from the radiation. It's not necessarily contamination from the from the arsenic and the lead that's in my water because my water is full of it. Full of it. And it would be okay if I could trust the, the Mosaic Company to actually test my water for what they dumped in there. But they're not. I had somebody else come in and do it. But when I think about my daughter taking a bath in that water, and for three weeks I didn't know. I wonder every night if I killed my daughter because I didn't want to get out like this. And I continue to let her take a bath in that. I haven't drank my water since last September. My kids don't take a bath in it still. My mother takes a bath in it. She turns blue. She's a cancer patient. There's a lot of issues when it comes to phosphate mining, but what people aren't paying attention to is the issues that nobody talks about. It's, it, my land is contaminated. My property values, my grandpa bought the house in 1957 moved from Brewster Mine and put it right there where it's at with 29 other houses, and somebody had the balls, for my friends, to offer me seven grand for an acre of land in a house that's been there over almost 60 years. Mm. They're sending in holding companies to buy out the houses. Stream song was only built to break the of the property values because the mosaic owns 27% at last I checked of the state of Florida. Mm. Mm. So I appreciate that you guys let me talk because my county seat, let them build a gym stack a mile from the courthouse. Manatee County, it doesn't matter what they wanted. Their representatives didn't, they didn't have their back. And now they're dumping their stuff on my land where I live. I don't know how else to convince anybody. If you want to know, Jim Tatum flew over my house last week. There's nothing but devastation. Not the only reclamation we have is not restoration. We have pine trees, we have cow pastures, and years ago they had to move the cows every three years because they couldn't stay in a pasture longer than three years. Mm. There's a lot of little secrets about phosphate mining, but in where I live, it's a culture. And I know I'm not supposed to address you people, but where I live, it's a culture. We've done it for hundreds of years. Families have worked at the mines. They stood in lines to get jobs at the mines. We know nothing else. And because we didn't care about nothing but the paycheck, because that was the best paying job you could get anywhere, I think if my grandfather knew what would happen now, he would have never brought his family there. Yeah. But you people have a chance. You have a chance to stop it. We're not going to